my people, it's your buddy Tack. Today we're going to take a look at the Topps Street Scalpel 2.0. First, we'll go over the technical specs. Overall length, 7 inch. Blade length is 3.1 inch. The actual cutting surface is 2 and 3 quarter inch. The handle length is 3.8 inch. And it weighs 4.6 ounces. Let's take a close up of this thing. Here's the sheath it comes with. So it mounts horizontally through your belt loops, which is pretty cool. Kydex sheath. No real rattle. The only sound I hear is the buttons a little bit. They're kind of cool. Got the old American flag. America! And tops. That's cool. A couple little eyelets and stuff. Little push off there. Comes out easily. Now the handle scales are micarta. Man, this blade is pretty freaking thick for being so little. I think it's .19. Oh, that's almost quarter inch right there. Nice red liners. Full tank construction. Little lanyard hole there. It's got some decent jimping, not too aggressive. I really like that finger choil too. And this is 1095 carbon steel. It's definitely hand filling. You know, it's just long enough. It's short, but it's just long enough to get all your fingers on it. And the sheath seems pretty decent as well. Little leather straps. Nice audible click when you put it back in. So let's test this thing out. Sorry about that, just had a moment. So we're gonna have to test this thing a little bit different. Since it's a defensive knife, you know, we're not gonna do any wood stuff with it this time. I got some spare humans. No, I'm just kidding. So we're gonna try the initial sharpness on this piece of paper. Now everybody knows I am the worst paper cutter in the universe. I have no skill when it comes to this, but let's check it out. Mmm, see that? Not too bad. Oh, there we go. I don't know if it's my angle. Ooh, that, that was a nice one. That was right next to my finger too. It's like here and there I can do it. See, that was terrible. I Somebody's gotta teach me how to do this. But, oh, that was a good one. So yeah, pretty sharp. Let's try it on some cardboard, shall we? Just do a couple random slices. See what it does, right? Take a closer look. Eh, I don't think, I think some of these were grazing blows. Oh, this one went all the way through. Some of these did. Messed up the edge alignment there. Seemed pretty decent. For my final trick, we're gonna test this thing out on some body armor. Now, this is threat level 3A, previously tested, obviously. I'm just gonna aim for a good spot. Now, the finger, after surgery, you can tell it's still pretty crooked. Not 100%. I don't know if it will be. I think I let it go too long. So for once in my life, I'm gonna be smart. We're gonna wear some cut resistant gloves. Okay, I'm not gonna do a Hail Mary from way, way above my head, you know, full strength. Because like I said, I don't even know if I can really hold on to this with this freaking finger. But we're gonna aim right there. Now, I'm kind of skeptical. Uh, I know bulletproof armor isn't blade proof, blah, blah. But it is blade resistant to a point you know it does slow it down is it gonna go through I don't know this stuff is pretty tough though I've shot it with all different pistol calibers and everything else so let's give it a shot oh I don't think that went too well yeah, yeah. oh actually not a whole bunch you know but it did but I probably could have swung that harder I was just a little scared I didn't want my hand to slip at least my aim was good let's do it one more time, shall we? Oh, she, I buried it that time. And that's what she said. No, she never says that, does she? No. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's pretty nasty. Actually, just looking. Went through that. This is a bunch of, you know, cardboard wadded up. Went right through it. Went into the next piece, all the way into the bottom a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, it isn't. A short blade so went through all that not too bad so in the end what do I think of this little thing for its job and purpose I think this thing's pretty awesome you know this thing they call it the street scalpel you know what I'm saying all it's for is to get you off me 
it's not very huge, so it's not gonna go through tons of stuff. But all you gotta do is get somebody in the face or in the throat. What are they gonna do, right? Don't matter how big you are, you ain't got a zillion muscles on your neck if you bury this thing. I probably shouldn't have said that. So yeah, the build quality is really nice. Super thick, super sturdy, sharp enough, decent point for penetration. The sheath is good. I, I do wanna figure out how, maybe I wanna mount it like that on my plate carrier. It's actually for my battle belt. It's gonna go, you know, that way on my back. That's why I bought this knife. So it's for defense. So that's why I tested it out the way I did. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know what I could think about changing. Maybe make the steel even cooler. 1095 is a good, you know, good survival steel. It's not the best at edge retention, you know, but it is tough stuff. And tops are pretty good, you know what I'm saying? American made. So yeah, I definitely dig the knife. The handle shape is good too. I didn't slip at all, even with those gloves on, doing those hammer stabs. My card is nice, handle skills are nice, jumping, yeah. No, I, I like it. Uh, one to 10, freaking bugs. Sorry about that. Uh, for its pr job and purpose, I'd probably give it an eight. It's pretty awesome. You know, like I said, there's not much, maybe a little bit of a thumb, ramp, thumb ramp. Eh, I'm nitpicking. This is a cool little knife and I like it. And I'll definitely go on my little battle belt. It's always good to see my people. And until the next time we meet.